only underground radio station. This is Radio R. This is Overhead. Let's go. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mambo VP254 once again. Welcome back to Radio RFM, your amazing channel for amazing content, amazing interviews, amazing entertainment. Full those mzuka kama kawa. Mimi ni MC Denoski the dance icon na today. Napiga story na boys wangu wa vungu sana ni to Frank Elijah Otieno. Popali na za State KE mwenyewe ako ndani ya jengo wale ambao mna durusu durusu pale YouTube I'm sure mnamfahamu akiwa mm, na mtoto fulani wa KKV Shugli nzima today he's here about to tell us all about it niaje bro Salama sana bro uko fit Salama sana bro Welcome to Radio RFM Sijui tuanzie wapi first things first kwa wale ambao maybe eh, wale tuseme our fans from from Germany our listeners from Germany Maybe I uh, could you visually can you kindly introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm I'm so called Benemesema. Nani? Frank Elijah Utiano. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just from Omabe. Mhm. Omabe can uh, county but currently in Nairobi. Okay. Nairobi. Mm-hmm. As a businessman. Okay. Yeah, with a stage name YouTube stage name or maybe social media stage name mm-hmm. uh, states. Okay. Yeah. So states KE journey yako ilianza wapi bro? Eh uh, journey ina unauliza journey ya social media ama journey ya life? Journey ya life. Journey ya life. Kufukuza dreams and all that. Ya kufukuza dreams. Mm-hmm. Journey ya life ilianza pale ghetto wherever I grew up in Uruma. Okay. Uruma hapa hapa kana Nairo. Yeah, Nairobi. Okay. A uh, place called Madoya. Uh-huh. So that's why I started uh, uh, maybe getting mot- motivated by the life that people are living there. Okay. Parents mm-hmm. that the life I don't know if maybe you stayed in a ghetto or anything but you know the life that yeah yeah parents napata. sleeps uh, uh, maybe in my curtain mm-hmm. then that's uh, Apo, hey, yeah, no. that's where you sleep that's the sitting room that's the hey, you know, place yeah. bed sitter flani megawanyishwa bedroom a sito bed sita, a single room kuna single. Bed, bed sitter single room eh, oh, bed sitter kuna washroom ndani kuna washroom in mm-hmm. self contained mm-hmm. 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 right yeah. but now when it comes to the single room it's a uh, it's a um, main room kuna kuna hivi okay is sitting in sitting room and bedroom ya watoto huko nyuma inakonga bedu me wazazi na kitchen na kitchen hapo pale juu ya kitanda hapo kigeuka hivyo na geuka na sufuria yeah so just okay. that just that life living that life with parents and, mm-hmm. and, and maybe other siblings and whatever all koneshia hapo na maparo yeah i used to live there with my parents this okay. this this, this, this I think is the whole story when i was uh, born mm-hmm. born because i was born in uh, I was born in Kayole mm-hmm. then we moved later on to Ruma okay. then I grew all my life uh, in Ruma mm-hmm. and the same single room I was there when I was uh, in first year okay uh, when I was in the university first year mm-hmm. yeah. one uh, uh, it's me say we we rank you as one of the youngest millionaires in the 254 I don't know how can you describe your childhood never describe what you were quite Yeah oh, okay my childhood uh, life it was so much humble it, i was uh, just from a very 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 humble family hey, kuna wale wanaweza dhani uliamka na hizi madoo yeah kuna wale uh, hata watu wengi fikiria maybe i'm a cool kid or anything mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's or anything maybe they are rich family or anything yeah yeah but my childhood uh, life it was so much let me say that uh, that poor lifestyle okay okay the, the that poverty kutoka humble background your design yeah. mm-hmm. you know, humble baby what you know, just humble like you know. so yeah so ukisema ile poverty ndio unajua what life is that yeah 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 mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah so uh, my childhood life it like your life yeah, just being from a, just being so much humble okay and uh, I think is one of it was really need really need motivate at least now to chase mm-hmm. dreams down okay at least go we are going to diverse into this society mm-hmm. <coughs> I had siblings that when you will come and ashule when Melissa shule they okay. don't have jobs but mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. so I just yeah, yeah, I just decided maybe that's what pushed me or motivated me mm-hmm. or inspired me to mm-hmm. at least get something different so ukiwapo okay, Roma bado ghetto ulikuwa na dreams gun in life ah uh, okay You know uh, mimi when I was born mm-hmm. uh, when I was young sorry okay uh, when ukienda uh, shule na najua ulikuwa naulizwa what do you want to be uh-huh. well, what did you want to be when you were young mimi nataka kuwa bonge la pilot pale ni wa bebe pale juu you wanted to be a pilot yes so with me I always wanted to be a businessman okay yeah so I know in a very uh, most of the, 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 the let me say the 
most uh, uh, what ch- uh, children don't uh, think of maybe <coughs> becoming a businessman or anything mm-hmm. they always think of engineer doctor and doctor say, nini zile vitu zina cheo cheo fulani yeah but me but with me i never wanted to be a businessman wow that's yeah. very interesting nini ilikuwa inspiration behind that my mom was uh, you know my mom was uh, okay she was uh, not that person with the much education but yeah yeah she could speak english and swahili mm-hmm. but now uh, just uh, she inspired me a lot maybe okay. my parents used to be my mentor okay was i used to see my my mom with that ghetto life and whatever my mm-hmm. mom and dad they were small businessmen but they could still struggle because uh, we went to the i think we, we went to almost maybe okay even if it was not best schools mm-hmm. but they were good schools okay yeah so uh, just from a ghetto from a single room mm-hmm. parents pay the boarding school or mm-hmm. anything mm-hmm. no it's not an easy thing so sure and this one they were doing out of business without any support around this by the way you know all in my life we are that much humble but i've never heard of my mom being around me for us at your change change mtoto in the high school in the campus nini yeah so sure i was i was so much mentored by uh, by in that we can hear that mm-hmm. this with this humbleness your family mm-hmm. they, they could still uh, maybe work at in business wise mm-hmm. and maybe get something maybe for school and everything okay yeah. so before b- between content creation on youtube and crypto marketing gani ndo ulianza ya kwanza eh uh, content on youtube i think i nilianza nikiwa hivi hata i've never changed ah <laughs> <laughs> meaning, meaning it has never been an impact in my life oh, content creation nilianza kwa kushaka funga basi nilikuwa i think I'm, i think I'm, i'm one year old in uh, maybe content creation okay yeah. so clearly crypto ndo lianza kwanza yeah it, uh, crypto ndo lianza kwanza ha ah, ulianza aje ilikwaje bro okay crypto was never my first uh, uh uh maybe uh, business or my online thing or maybe, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah maybe source of income okay my first source of income was it was uh, developing maybe, uh online writing accounts mm-hmm. not right i wasn't doing the online online, online writing uh, i just came into the industry you know uh, when i was in kca mm-hmm. i was still living there at, in uruma so i got i got into school oh campus school umefanya kca eh kca okay. university so mm-hmm. I, go, i got into this uh, kca mm-hmm. university there mm-hmm. Well, I I uh, na rich kids whatever mm-hmm. yeah so to get to the school na when we were to to high school mm-hmm. there used to be two roads okay i was in a, in a school a school in Konyanza mm-hmm. so there was a road mbili kwa shule mm-hmm. Nairobians na watu waucha so pale nilikuwa na jiji yanga wewe ni hatari wa Nairobi wewe mtu wa mjini ba si watu wa mjini now when it came to the university I found things very different yeah. now it was uh, mabola na safar okay so pale ulikuwa unaenda kusalimia bola ni haja umeingia shule i'm good forget ile kile jo maria pale hiyo bye bye ile hiyo so uh, just that ka, ka discrimination and whatever mm-hmm. just from other fellow students madarao madarao ni nini so, yeah mm-hmm. uh, and uh, getting to the class kwanza kuna kuna kumbuka kuna swali ilikuwa ni press like i think uh, almost uh, three months kwa mm-hmm. shule mm-hmm. but school will leave that i used to see people coming with that a gotv box a round gotv box mm-hmm. so i was wondering why is these students coming to school with a round gotv box are they going to watch gotv somewhere but now sasa kinyi ilikuwa na the challenge that i was getting mm-hmm. is that is it really a gotv because the gotv box is a square box yeah sure why you is know, this one circular eh kumbe you know mm. the branding yeah gotv kitambo mm. na box ya pizza in zilikuwa zinafanana so i have never had pizza <laughs> sikuwa na what is that <laughs> 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 I was just surprised nikuuliza niliamua siku moja let me ask one of the ladies manya ko na nimuuliza what is this akaniambia okay ali ni check out na akaniambia sorry si hizo old check of those eh akaniambia and I yeah so uh, and it just is so i love like uh, unashanga pizza in pizza ni nini unashanga like uh, why should why should i get into class at for and sell me hivi so nika nika ganza kwa kiria eh yeah, nikaanza kufikiria ka business nisafanya business za kuanza kwa ya youtube vitu tudogo tudogo so uh, since my dad was a mechanic by then i decided to kuingia huko kumsaidia sasa zenye siko shule na sit the watu kuchange ma oil kufanya nini eh kaduka kingine kale kwa hapo gate nasaidia kuza balls and whatever yeah so bado nafanya hivyo the only thing i can afford after maybe a week or anything maybe a single trouser still akuyezi change life yangu so nikasema at the end of the day nenda soma hiyo ni stop ile blending eh ini ya kublendi nataka kublendi na students mm-hmm. na jaribu kunini kupata hiyo do yote hiyo do hiyo okay ilikuwa do yote as per that time i felt like ni do yote because you know uh, when you feel like you can get maybe 200 in a day now 
una feel like umeanza kwa ewe una feel kwa kwa kubwa kama you never been used to maybe earning even a single cent yeah so <coughs> nikaona nimeanza kupata hiyo kadu kiasi nikakaa nikasema let me za watu wa kampo sidai kwa na girlfriend <laughs> so nikasema hapa watu wa kampo hata ni jaribu ni tupe lugha moja mbili kwa za kukepe eh gani za kukepe pale chenye niuliza mazali ni prank miss ya kukata your brains you have everything but now saying king your box what next Tazidi na. Eh like what next? Ata sisi tukisema we just want to go somewhere where will we go? Au na nyumba the parents are here nikiwakombia story yangu mali wazazi wanaishi unaangalia. So siku siku angalia like who dem alinikata. Then angalia like who dem alini challenge. Yeah, yeah, at least go look for something first then come back. So hiyo time okay that nilikuja kuona baadaye but as for that time I feel I felt offended whatever. Then there was a friend of mine alikuwa anaitwa Leon alikuwa kakul kid from Langata. Ah, akaanza kuniambia manze akajuu tulikuwa na yeye ni kiwizi vitu zote ziki nini akaniambia manze i know it's intimidating but now at least as I, i'll try all the maybe and at least you we move together when you come to school alikuwa na axio so when you when you come to school at least i not axio toyota corolla alikuwa na corolla eh kale ka toyota corolla ka nzd so at least now when you come to school you can sa zingine to feel like hanging out with us na ngao tu na sisi and everything so and this guy motivated me nikaona bwana nilinge kwa hiyo gari niliona a different approach i'm a different uh, aspect when i was meeting new people so uh, it can it can motivate like even if now i i i, I, I focus on my studies and whatever i get to maybe a first class honors or anything i don't think if i'm gonna do that anytime soon so i need to get something at least that will make me blend in so eh uh, kidogo kidogo nikaanza nikakuwa na nikakuwa na some problems issues na uko maparo whatever then ah, nikaamua let me get out of that place because i was nilikuwa naenda sana naenda kutafuta kitu hata nikakosa kurudi unaona kwa sasa nataka kutafuta kitu at least nikuwa na kitu eh yeah. so tukakosana kidogo wakanisukuza nikaenda KU so eh uh, nikiwa pale KU Ah, yeah, hapana nikaenda kuishi na uh, nini wangu. I, I enda kazi na alikuwa mda wake alikuwa MCA hiyo time. Huko uh, ushago kwetu but alikuwa mzo wangu. So yeye alikuwa na hostels pale ke, uh, KU. Sasa nika eh uh, akani host. Remember nimeenda KU siku hiyo bila nitapata fare. Na then sometimes nilikuwa natoka na KU I think around 5 mitembe oh she una una do distance ya KU hadi KCA kanesa ikanyamaliza fika roda yeah so in that aso ya kutembea na una this is so much exhaustive na jaribu ku get maybe ideas from people you know KU it's a so uko naishi KU kwa sababu ya alafu na school eh ya alafu na na school KCA yeah so ubo wangu alikuwa ameniweka tu hata ameniweka chini ya maji cause nikitoka tulikuwa tunaenda huko KU kulikuwa na place inaitwa BSC so my national id zikipotea zinaikuwa huko so nikabidi mchezeshe jambo eh aenda anichomolea moja so nikikaa naweza ingia kwa ndani ya shule nitoke kwa ile gate ya nyuma ningia hotel yake ni dozi hivyo hivyo so huko 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 nikiwa huko ndo naanza kusikia things about online writing and whatever nikafanya research yangu ndo nikakaa na research yangu nikawa na uh, uh, these things maybe people get job from from maybe some accounts or, and, and anything so I tried I just decided to look for something better than them because I really feel like if I look for someone to uh, maybe to write for or to do anything I just wanted to be to, I just wanted to succeed in life see kwa nataka kitu ya bado tani old behind because I used to see even uh, yeah so nikasema if these people are, get, are getting these things from maybe accounts these accounts means they are being created by someone meaning they they are on sites and everything so I just did my research yeah yeah I did my deep research nika come up na awe ya ku ya ku yeah, apply to make sure they are verified yeah and i sell so even do mimi nilianza nika make nika jaribu moja nilijaribu account kadhaa moja ikaenda na through by the way i think it, it was my first account that i had applied ni account ya writing ilikuwa inaitwa yupo cop yeah so i just read and registered one ikapita nikauliza mse hii account ya niambia fully verified na kila kitu and whatever nikauliza uh, Ah uh, moja wa mtu mwenye niko na jua naandika akaniambia manze yo yo hiyo account iko ready for job <laughs> akaniuliza kwanza yeye ndiye aliniuliza unaweza niuzie hiyo account pesa ngapi <clears throat> nikamwambia wewe nipatie offer unajua she, uh, she was a lady kwanza ndio alinipatia offer ya much alinipatia offer ya 50000 na gesh nikajua hiki tuko na do nikamwambia nikamwambia pana mimi nitachukua 70 alinichukua 
alinilipa 70000 the first time nimepata 70000 jeu kuna jeu wati yake eh teke teke nikajua hiki tunaweza work siku hata siku endelea kukaa huko hata siku endelea kukaa kwa hiyo hostel ndio yani katafuta kanyumba kadogo kwanza hapo hapo KM kanyumba kenye hizi zina konga you see kwa kishua kama the next one ita move but i wanted at least to get somewhere yeah so kuliko na hizi nyumba zenye kuingia hapa nyumba hapa kanda stairs chini ya stairs hapa kuna hizo nyumba nikaingia hapo you know what i did hiyo nyumba nilikuwa napewa na pesa ngapi nilikuwa napewa 2500 a month nikailipa mwaka mzima so like kitu mzuri kitu mzuri hiyo kitu ika work tena accounts zingine kama nne zikakuwa verified I didn't even tell the landlord that I was leaving. I left everything. Ara be ni nitoka tu nikienda hivyo daru nilienda hivyo. That's how I was saying kuza account. Yes, sasa job kuza account. Actually niliona moja cuz I want when I used to grow up I wanted to live in a rock or in moja. I wanted to maybe to go live in a moja. So I went to moja took a two bedroom from ile nimetoka I started from a two bedroom cuz I had a friend that 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 that, 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 that ka Eh that ka friend tulikuwa tunaishi na yeye. Nilikuwa nataka sasa Julia ni host ni bring here yeah, at least to give back so that's how i left that na nikaingia kwa hiyo hiyo create account so ile creative accounts kadha you can buy a fast car fast land yeah so that's where i started then later on kwa kuja na kitu you saw nishaka hapo sana naanza kuona hizo vitu za m global m global so when nilikuwa naona hizo vitu za m global zikan changanya akili nikapiga research zangu kidogo naona ziko related sama una forex so ndo nikaanza ku venture match into forex okay. yeah then i went into forex nikapata venye mtu na trade nikapata all the ways i did but because i was just a newbie i lost tena nikarudi nikapoteza tena do nikarudi tena ground <laughs> yeah na kwa account hata accounts hizo time hata ku verify account sasa isha kwa nguvu this is after unaweza see hizo kupatia story yote cuz it's a lot of it's, it's a very yeah. so this is later on hata accounts zishaanza kwa nguvu but niko na do do nayo niko nayo eh cuz do hiyo uh, time nilikuwa na mashamba ni mshapa uh, na the first uh, the first uh, uh, the first project zangu za kujenga nilikuwa nishaanza so account pale huwezi kosa kamita whatever so sinikao na forex nikajua this is something that i invest it and kwa kitu i went there mse nilipata na online na limit tu takanifunza kitu moja mbili after a week nikao na i'm good to go nikaenda nikiana nikipiga na loss hivyo una guess nikapotea mpaka nika by that by that by that time nilikao na realize sasa uh, nimerudi ground account ilikuwa na 20000 nikajua eh mmm nikajua mambo ina spoil nikajua mambo ina spoil mzee Uh, after uh, getting your first wins kwa ajili ya how 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 challenging was it for young person like you kwa na kama ile unajua mtu wangu that's why kutoka leo yani kutoka nizaliwe hadi sasa hii bro mimi sasa hii Mungu akikuja akisema natakuwa mtajai tumia any drug kwa maisha yangu sijai tumia bangi sijai tumia pombe sijawahi onja si ati ile kufanya na kuacha so i was in university remember time nilipata do it was just my second semester yeah. in the university first semester pekee ndo niliteseka sijafika hata 18 years because nilimaliza na chuo nikitan 17 na unajua kitambo liko na malizanga au liko na malizanga hapo nini alafu because i went to the uh, private university result liko zinatoka by huko mshoa ilikuwa mwanzo or anything then may you liko naingia kampu so me ni kampu hiyo mwaka nilimaliza may yake ni may kampu ya yeah, me intake nikaingia nikaingia kampu so hii team yote era nikipata mimi hata first do yangu nilipatanga uh, sorry first gari yangu nilipatanga nilipatanga before ni kwenda national id nilienda nilienda na kuchukua national id because i wanted a, a deal uh, na kwanza ikafanyaga kwa id yangu nikasukumanga miaka mbele na 2 years <laughs> you can mzima kidogo yeah cuz hapana nilikuwa naambiwa like hata uh, uh, kuenda hata hizi vitu za deal okay it's not nilikuwa na, na advice hizo time na uh, just people that are doing anything and yani just uh, a common man age so nilikuwa naambiwa hata id hata nini manze before ufike 20 atumefika 18 au utapata whatever so nilikuwa naingia 18 but mimi nikaeka nikaa naingia mbao <laughs> okay nika push miaka zangu mbele uh, na, na, na miaka mbili nika nika difana nime kwa late kuchukua ID kuna ka chief wetu huko Oja alinitengenezanga by the birth certificate huko mbio <laughs> aliniorganizea 
nikatengenezewa hata nilizaliwa ngapumwani but now kwa, kwa birth certificate yangu inaonyesha ngao usingine mko wote yenye hata mimi sijai kanyaga hiyo usi hata sijui wewe nani una guess yeah so hiyo uh, tu haikuwa challenging kwangu cuz shida ile kwa nipiga then i knew what i wanted this is radio ara this is radio ara home of african music